Uh, this is Paul. Yeah. Um, you know this champerty and maintenance? Uh, most lawyers frown on them when they're likely to encourage litigation rather than to discourage it. <laughs> uh, I call it a contingent fee. Your lawyer gets all a part of this fee uh, only if his efforts on your behalf are successful. Yeah. Could you run through the actual financing of every attorney firm everywhere in the world? Um, I'd just like to know how they're getting paid. It, it seemed to me that attorneys think that the laws don't apply to them. <laughs> Let's say you're a judge or a justice and you know that my rights are being violated. <laughs> you know that the state of Washington violated my constitutional right to a speedy trial. Pooch. <laughs> you know my sons are abducted and kidnapped because of abuse of power yeah <laughs> you know my assets have been seized and nobody sent me an email yes <laughs> and you know that my rights as an American citizen have not really been enforced and that American citizen that's gonna sue the just the guts I mean every peg of an attorney everywhere in the world <laughs> I wanted to know how they got their finances and who their clients are for the last 40 years and if they got any inbreds in their offices any clones of themselves or their their offspring <laughs> Any good fish family attorneys that made it through law school and been working that corporate ladder <laughs> that thought that their genetics was what was giving them what they wanted in life. It seems, it seems, it seems like those in the family have been helping themselves to a little Still too many freedoms, liberty, pursuit of happiness, safety, protection. <laughs> now a lot of them thought, well, I'm going to get disbarred, but I'm thinking arrests are really what's going to happen. <laughs> now once you're in prison, you can explain why it is that you no longer practice law. <laughs> now I'm going to want every attorney in every nation.